Hey, a few years ago, I was offered the opportunity to be anything I ever wanted to be, like do whatever I wanted. Um, and I figured, I'm like, hey man, I wanna be a better father, I wanna be a better husband, I wanna be a better grandfather. So I looked for some things and I came across this 60 day deliberate discomfort challenge. Um, so I was introduced to John and then the meditation piece really played a huge role in that. Um, I can still hear John in my head now, two plus years later. Introduced me to Will and the Men Talk of Mindfulness, which brought me to uh, Dr. T and the Movement RX. Um, and it's really helped me to continue to try to just be 1% better every single day because I, for 25 years, I just grinded away. Like that was just creating a better life. And then when I left the military, I was able to take a step back and see about all the times I grinded away my ego got in my way on a lot of things. And I noticed a difference in like my kids and they're having kids of their own. And I'm like, oh man, they've kind of inherited some of these unhealthy habits. So just want to be a better example for, um, for my daughters, better example for my grandkids. Um, my wife will be like Jay Shetty. He'll said he's, his wife's more monk than he is. My wife is more monk than I will ever be. Um, She's my biggest cheerleader, my biggest fan, so I appreciate her. Um, watching you guys, you guys have become like um, like my Yoda. So I might be quiet, you might not see anything, but I'm doing the work. Um, I, off and on, um, falling off the horse once or twice, but I always pick myself back up. I'm tracking everything, I'm taking a step back, looking at you know each month like where I've fallen down, where I've um, been successful, where I haven't been successful. Um, really force myself to be honest with myself a little bit. So what's brought me here is like like-minded people, like-minded people looking for similar things. And then being, being able to introduce this to my grandkids, um, to my daughters and seeing them practice it with their families and stuff. And then, I, you know, I mentioned before my grands, my grands, one of my grandsons is as committed to his anger as he is his love. <laughs> and the, be able to see his growth while we practice, while I teach him breath and emotions and stuff is like, man, I will, I'll never get those moments back. So 